Hi there, welcome to the Upcycled Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other upcycling tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can check the subscribe button below any of my videos to become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to check the bell icon as well. So today I have just sort of a quick project. I'm, we're planning on redoing our bathroom and I'm making a bunch of knick-knacky kind of things for it before we actually do the bathroom makeover. So hopefully they'll all fit in once I am, once we have the bathroom completed. But uh, have you seen those cute little plastic animal uh, hooks that they make? Uh, I thought they were really simple. I checked, tried to find some tutorials. There seemed like there was some missing information. Uh, and it turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I thought, but it was still a fun project, so let's take you through it. Okay, so there's probably a lot of different ways to go about making these hooks, uh, but my plan is to hook my little uh, animals to a piece of wood. So I'm gonna need to enlist the hubby's help to get it cut to the right length, but I think it'll be a good size for the three hooks that I'm gonna use. And then I'll need to sand it down and drill some holes and my plan is to just paint it with some black acrylic paint. Then for cutting the animals in half, I think just a plain handsaw will probably be the best choice. Uh, interestingly enough, these are pretty sturdy but they are not solid. You can tell they're hollow on the inside. Maybe some folks that have made these hooks have been able to find solid resin animals but uh, I want mine to be pretty sturdy. They're not for jewelry or anything. So my plan is to fill the um, insides with some plaster of Paris. But I'm also a little bit worried that that will be sort of too chippy or crack, I don't know. So this might be a terrible plan, but my plan is to kind of mix some Mod Podge in there to try to come up with sort of a more solid thing to put the screw into. I'm making these uh, towel hooks for my silver safari bathroom, so my plan is to paint them with some silver spray paint, and if I need to, I'll go back with a Sharpie and add some black accents to each of the animals once they're painted. And then the final step, uh, just so the paint will wear a little bit better, I'm going to put a coat of polycrylic uh, finish on each of the animals. And then because I'm going to be screwing the board to the wall to hold up the hooks, uh, I want to be able to cover up my screw holes. So my plan is to use um, this mold and some air dry clay. And I'll probably just use one of these smaller flowers to cover up the screw head. And then I'll paint it either black or silver. And I've got some Gorilla Glue here as well to attach the I'm going to screw the, the animal heads on, but also want to add some glue to things just for more support. Perfect, doesn't it? I think so. Okay. I'm calling it a lucky guess. All right. 
Okay, so here's a little closer look at the holes in my board. You can see they're sort of got a double hole so that the screw head will fit in the flush with the board and not uh, scratch the wall. All right, so hopefully you can see this, but the first thing I wanted to do was be sure that I could get my little animal bodies level so that I could get them filled evenly. So I've got them propped up in some, this one isn't perfect, but I've got them kind of prop, propped up different in different ways. And I think I'm gonna have to work on this one a little bit, but I wanna make sure that they're level before I try to fill them. All right, so this is the crazy part. I have a little plaster of Paris in my uh, cup here. And I'm going to add, like I said, I'm going to add some Mod Podge. And then I have some water here too. So we'll see what happens. Here goes nothing. So my idea here is just that the glue will help the plaster of Paris from being so brittle. Um, that could be a really bad assumption. I don't know, but I'm just giving it a try. Um, I don't really have a recipe. I think I used about two spoonfuls of plaster, a couple spoonfuls of glue, and a tiny bit of water. And there's a high probability that this was a bad idea, but I do like to experiment, so I guess we'll find out. Okay. Do what? I didn't have to do it right now. Oh, what does that mean? It just, you poked right through? Yeah, watch. Okay, but don't wait, wait, down, 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 down. There, right there. So it's not hard, all is it not hard? Nope. So it still needs to dry more? Yep. All right, so the jury's out as to whether or not my filling is going to work, but we're forging ahead anyway, and the filling is firm enough to hold a small screw so that I can hang my little animals and spray paint them. All right, so our new plan is to add the screws to the board, and once the spray paint is dry, we'll just go ahead and put the animal heads onto the screws and hope that the insides will harden and be able to support some weight. See like it's not quite the right angle. It's perfect. Oh, well her back's not touching the thing. <laughs> How's that? That's perfect. Excellent work. Well, how do you it's like not that? very solid, is it? Huh? It's not very solid. Well, like I said, it has to dry. Hopefully it will. So here's my finished animals attached to the board. They've been drying for a couple of days now and they seem pretty sturdy. I'm not entirely convinced that putting the Mod Podge in the plaster of Paris was the greatest idea, but it seems like it's gonna work. And I did get a little glue on my board, so I'm gonna have to paint over. There's a couple spots that need some touch up anyway. The one thing I will say about attaching these is that you need to make sure that you're getting your screws in. Oh, how do I wanna say this? Because the inside of my 
the filling of my animals was kind of soft when we did we put it on we didn't end up screwing the animals in we just kind of shoved them on and made them flat and now the center is drying around them so I think that's a good way to go otherwise you if you get the screw crooked at all you don't get the a body to attach nice and flat to the wood um, one other thing my screw was a little too long for my poor little giraffe so I'm gonna have to replace or repair that little hole there and it looks like it could use a touch up of paint so as to well. make the little cover ends for my screw holes here I'm gonna use my little uh, cake mold or frosting mold I have a little bit of the Crayola air dry clay and it just takes a tiny bit and I've sprayed a little bit of uh, cooking spray in here you need something to make sure that the clay will release from the mold I also have a little, I think it's a nut tool, but you just need some kind of smaller uh, sort of scraping tool to get your excess out. I have way too much in this one. So I just want to scrape it out and get it flat on the back. Edges all cleaned up and then to pull it out I just kind of push it away from the edges make sure that they're all releasing nicely and then it should just pop right out and I'll have a nice little flower shape you don't have to um, grease or oil the mold every time so you usually can get three or four impressions before you have to worry about putting another releasing agent in there and I only need two little guys here so they're pretty easy I'm just gonna let those dry and then once they're dry we'll paint them black and they'll be they'll go right over this holes to cover the screw holes like that all right, so here's a step I recommend you avoid if you can, but uh, because we made a hole all the way through the poor little giraffe, I went ahead and filled that with some air dry clay, and I also missed some spots with the spray paint. So I'm taping off my wooden board here, and I'm going to do another coat of the silver spray paint. So I've done some touch-up painting on the black. You can see some of it's still uh, a little bit wet, needs to dry. The my I, little clay pieces are dry and they'll be ready to glue on to cover the screws whenever I put this on the wall. The moment of truth has arrived. This has been drying for a couple of days now and the hippo and the giraffe seem pretty steady and sturdy. The rhinoceros, not so much. He's a little wiggly and he turns a little bit, so um, I think I'm going to take him off and try to re-glue him. So that could be a mistake, but I don't think he's going to work the way he is, so here goes nothing. I didn't video this part, but my rhinoceros came off of the screw very easily, so I'm glad that I decided to re-glue him. Uh, I just used some more Gorilla Glue. I put it on the screw again and then on the back of the rhino and the, the filling. So he seems to be holding nice and sturdy now like the other two animals. And the other thing I did was I added a coat of the Minwax Polycrylic to the wood and to the animals. So the, the uh, black has kind of a nice shiny finish to it now. These are my little flowers that are going to go over the screw heads here once it is attached to the wall. The other thing I wanted to show you is just the back, how the screws are set in so that they won't scrape the wall once this is attached to the wall. So of course hindsight is 2020, and I thought about some other ways to fill the animals that might have worked better. You could probably try just the straight plaster of Paris. Um, there's also a lot of products that are made for construction. They make liquid nails and these heavy duty uh, adhesives. They're a little messier to use, but uh, this is a possible alternative to fill the animals with as well. And I also could have just used uh, the Crayola air dry clay. I think that might've worked as well. 
the other thing I've seen is that some people have just used uh, E6000 glue on the, the animal itself, just around the edges. I didn't think that would be sturdy enough, but uh, if you've made one of these and you've tried different techniques, uh, I'd be interested to know. Uh, I wanted my hooks to be kind of heavy duty. I'm going to use them for towels. So I wanted to make sure that they were sturdy and strong. So as I mentioned, I'm not quite ready to hang up this, these hooks on my wall because I need to paint the wall first, but I did want to test out how sturdy they were. It seems like they're going to work. Uh, once again, if you've tried this project, let me know how you did it and how sturdy your hooks were. Uh, also, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, thumbs up if you did, and I hope to see you in the next video.